everybody, Zach from Zach's Model Rail Reviews. And today, I've got another Model Rail Review. It's gonna be on this. Oh God. It's the Hornby Master Cutler box set. So, this is basically one of Hornby's bigger, more expensive, but at the same time, it's um, a lot more high quality. You get, um, often they come with two loops of track, a siding, um, a locomotive, three, coaches or like selective pieces of rolling stock i think there are a couple more i think there's one the orient express or along those lines um yeah anyway i suppose we should get out of the box and review some of the details so here's a look at so now we'll get into some of the detailing this locomotive and the coaches are full of really nice exquisite intricate details to say the least so i look at the front and see the number it's very, very clear. 60052 now. On the front of here, you can see A3, that's the classification. Leicester, which is where I think this locomotive would have been based. Then you can see along the side, there's the build plate. If you don't know what that is, just the gold oval above here. The lining on this locomotive, it's really well done, but I suppose it is limited edition, so it is expected. Um, so I look at the top, you can see all the valves have been painted, and I think they are separately fitted. So these, kind of like, let, would have let air through into the fireman's area, because it would also be quite hot. But yeah, those do shut. So yeah, the tender... A lot of good detail. Obviously the bogies. You can see all the like the components of the bogies are really really clear. All the rivets are there too. It just really adds a great deal of detail to this locomotive, I think. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant, honestly. There's not really a lot I can say on this locomotive, except just how good it is. But yeah, it's just a really fine locomotive. Obviously, there's not a lot I can complain about. It's got detail, character. But yeah, we'll have a look inside the cab next. So here's a look at the first coach, which I think would... I think all these coaches were in the first class anyway. So you can see the red triangles there. That's obviously the no smoking signs. And it says first, if it'll zoom in for me and stay focused. Yeah, you can see it does say first. So let's go on the headboards for the coaches. Look quite nice. The doors have all got door handles that have been painted separately. The top, all the riveting. You can see there, it looks really, really nice. The corridors have been painted as well. Now this, lo now this coach, I almost said locomotive there, has got a number. E11. E11011E. So yeah, that's the first coach. Two more. So here's a look at the second kind of like composite coach. Now this one... Isn't, well, this is, yeah, this is the composite coach. This one isn't too much different. Once again, all the riveting. It's there on the roof. A headboard. And, um, yeah, the painted corridors as well. The number. This one. E12612E. E. Now these coaches, I do, I did forget to mention, often do have sprung buffers, which is a really nice touch for those. So now for the brake coach. Hello everyone, please stand by for this short intermission. I've got two new series of starting up on the channel, which I thought you should hear about if you haven't watched the videos on them. Well, there's only been a trailer for one of them. But one of them is Great Western Railway Adventures, which will be starting on May 29th. So stay tuned for that. The other one is going to be called Train Talks, where I will be joined by Cameron Shearer, who 
will be voicing Barry in the Great Western Railway Adventures series. So congratulations, Cameron, on that. But we're going to just basically discuss all the latest topics on the British Railways heritage circuit or the mainline circuit. So, you know, things like the Hitachi Class 801, new, new steam engine builds such as the Prince of Wales or other. But no, I am not ripping off Chris Eden Green's Gauge the Issue, okay? So don't get any ideas in the comments. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the short intermission and now back to the video, everybody. So just before I do um, a little bit of a brief history and then the running session, here's a look at the box. It's fairly large, as you can tell. Like if I put my hand next or like there, you can tell it's very, very large. And obviously it come, all the coaches come in that little box which is lined with silk. This shows all the track, the buffers, the points. That controller isn't the one I use. I use the, I use this one. It's the Gage Master Prodigy, Prodigy is it Pro, Prodigy or Prodigy Express? Yeah, it's a really, really nice controller. It gets the job done. Oh, no, I might say on the back. Prodigy Express walk around controller. Yep. Anyway, so just whilst I'm here, um, here's a little look at my layout. So you can see I've got a fiddle yard at the back. These signs I had customly made as well. Um, these signs are actually on the water press line. I also got these ones made too. So, yep, you got the coal office or the coaling stage. Is the yards. I've got, it's not really a bay platform because it doesn't necessarily go anywhere. I've got my little points board. That's my coupling hook, my track rubber. That's an Allen key. I don't know why that's there. So, yeah, the station. I've got a little, that was the Allen key. Got a little kind of news agent there, mailman. Here's a look at the yards where you can see some of my locomotives. And yeah, once again at the back, you can see my thing, my um, signs. I've got two. I've got one of each. I've got one of each at each end. So and just out here, this is just a little run around the area. Because as you can tell, I run an I run an end to end layout. So yeah, but that might not be the case for long. I might be selling this model railway at some point, and um, starting a, a more modern image layout from scratch. So stay tuned for that, as well as the um, other model railway I've got going. Um, you can check that out. But yeah. Um, so yeah, this layout might not be here for long, so uh, I suppose just make the most of it whilst it's here, I guess. Let me know if you would like to have any... Now, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of a request, um, a bit of a request week next week. So um, each day, I'll take one of your requests and I'll do it. So you can request a review on... So, so here are going to be some of the requests. Um... Well, I'll do a review. I'll be doing reviews on the. I'll be doing reviews on these two schools classes, and basically up here, most of these engines I can do a review on. The ones that I can do a review on are the Southern Suburban 1957, the uh, Class 205, the. Hmm, what else haven't I done? The Railroad Schools class, the Railroad County, so she might be able to see up here. Um, yeah, that's mainly all I've really got left to review. So um, I will, right, um, so what I will say for the future of this channel is that um, it's going to be a bit of a, bit of a mix and match I don't really know but it's not going to be 
reviews aren't going to be quite as frequent because as i say i'm running out of things to review which may sound crazy for a channel which is built on that but that's all i've got like truly that is all i have to review but i will be getting a i think it's the backman tornado and the express passenger blue livery so stay tuned for that but now back to the a3 review because i'm sure that's what you all clicked on the video for so the A3s were designed in 1915 for the Great Northern Railway. They were originally the A1s. They were designed by Sir Nigel Gresley. And 51 of the class were produced, including this one, number 60052, Prince Palatine. The class were produced between 1922 and 1935. As I said, 51 of the class were produced. This particular one, Prince Palatine, was produced in was built in 1924 at Doncaster Works, along with the vast majority of the A3 Pacifics, but was then withdrawn from service after having a severe accident in 1941. The locomotive remained at St Margaret's Works, where it was then scrapped in 1966. One of the classes still in preservation, which I'm sure you've all heard of, Flying Scotsman. If you haven't, then what have you been doing with your life? Because According to research, it's the most popular or well, most well-known train ever. So, you know, look it up if you don't know. But yeah, the A3 Pacifics were quite, were obviously express locomotives. As I say, they were designed for the Great Northern Railway. The class were very, the class were very powerful. And according to actual records, not myths, sorry, City of Truro, Flying Scotsman was the first engine to hit 100 miles per hour. Uh, the L and E R were very good at breaking records, after all, because we all know how it went with the A fours now, don't we? But anyway, the A three Pacifics pulled a lot of name trains, such as the Master Cutler. They also pulled trains like the Elizabethan, the Pullman, the Flying Scotsman, and others. If you know any other name trains that they pulled, because I'm not great with them, put them in the comments below, please. But anyway, now it's time for the final bit of the video, the running session. Alright, so here we go. We're going to have the LNER B12 and the A3 class Prince Palatine. So there goes the B12 with the Pullmans. Looking really, really nice. So the theme of this running session has obviously been LNER and name trains. So there's the Pullman. And now, points have been set, it's time to let Prince Palatine go on its way. Very slow, just got to let it build up speed quickly. Off it goes. I hope you enjoyed this running session remember to like subscribe share with your friends family and any other railway lovers that you know but i've been zach you've been a brilliant audience just remember to keep calm and build more railways everyone see you in the next